An unexpected thriller is heating up Netflix's top 10. Offering to the Storm, a Spanish-German production, recently made its way onto the streamer's list of most-watched movies. The atmospheric, supernaturally-tinged Spanish-language thriller managed to crack the list during a weekend dominated by the high-profile Netflix originals The Kissing Booth 2 and the Charlize Theron-starring comic adaptation The Old Guard. While Offering to the Storm doesn't offer a ton of faces that would be super familiar to American audiences, that only helps to ground the creepy action, as do the naturalistic performances of its cast. Marta Etura, a veteran Spanish actress who has been a fixture on the big screen in that country for the better part of two decades, leads the film as police inspector Amaya Salazar. Coñi, mira a ver qué se puede hacer con el sonido. O mejor, llama a alguien que sepa leer los labios. Oye, jefa. Amaya returns to her hometown of Bastan in the Basque Country, an autonomous community in Spain, to get to the bottom of some strange goings-on. There, Amaya also confronts demons from her own past. The movie benefits from the fact that the Basque Country, which straddles Spain's border with France, is an incredibly scenic region with rolling hills and picturesque villages. Offering to the Storm suggests that the area's old-world charm hides a kind of dark secrets that may have to do with the ancient, supernatural entities of local folklore that are said to inhabit the region's many forests. The area can practically be seen as another character in its own right, which certainly seems to be the intention of author Dolores Redondo, who wrote the novel upon which the film is based and who grew up in the area. If you're taken in by offering to the storm's brooding atmosphere and twisty narrative but find that some of the plot points seem to come out of nowhere, well, there's a reason for that. The movie is actually the conclusion to a much longer story. Offering to the Storm is the third and final film in the Bastan trilogy, all based on Redondo's novels, which began with 2017's The Invisible Guardian. That flick tells the story of Amaya Salazar's first return to her old stomping grounds to help solve the ritualistic serial slayings of several local teens, while also locking horns with her sister and her abusive nursing home-bound mother. The film ends with the revelation that Amaya and her American husband James are expecting a child. The story continued in 2019's The Legacy of the Bones, which begins after Amaya has given birth to a baby boy. When a number of people in Bastan begin dying by suicide, Amaya returns to investigate, quickly finding that the deaths seem to be suspiciously linked to the series of killings that she had solved in the first film. While Offering to the Storm certainly works as a standalone movie, some of its character interactions that seem laden with meaning and callbacks to previous events will make a bit more sense if you've seen the first two flicks. Fortunately, they're both available for streaming on Netflix, so you can binge-watch the entire trilogy. Reviews for Offering to the Storm have been quite positive, with a number of critics noting that fans of the genre will want to check it out and stream The Invisible Guardian and The Legacy of the Bones beforehand so they get the full picture. That said, critics have also pointed out that viewers may be able to predict some of the twists and might be hesitant to dive in due to the movie's 139-minute runtime, but that should not deter them from giving this well-received movie a shot. As Tequila wrote in their review of the flick, Offering to the Storm is a thrilling ride with enough to make it a good and horrifying watch. If the runtime does not daunt you, I'd suggest giving this one a go, but do check out the previous installments. A movie marathon might be a good idea. You can figure stuff out before the big reveal is made, though, and the police, as per usual, make some flawed decisions. However, all in all, a decent and thrilling watch. If you're sold on Offering to the Storm, stream it, and its predecessors, too, on Netflix now. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.